Hi everyone, it's Allison. Welcome to the Tiny Herd. Today we're going to be opening up the July Happy Bunny Club subscription box. Welcome to the Tiny Herd or welcome back. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We make new videos every Friday and they're usually pet related. We do everyday pet care and vlogs. So today we're going to open this box. So if you aren't familiar with Happy Bunny Club, it is a monthly subscription service that sends toys and treats that are curated specifically for rabbits. Um, they are usually all natural and pretty healthy things. I usually just make sure that they are safe and healthy for my piglets because I do use them for my guinea pigs. So let's go ahead and open this box up. I will say really quick before I get into opening the box that this is not a sponsored video. Um, I do pay for this monthly uh, just because I would like to get it and um, I'm just reviewing it because I thought that you guys would like to see what was in it. So. Um, this is not sponsored, they didn't send me this for review or anything, and I did buy this on my own, so just wanted to get that out of the way. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing you see when you open the box is this cute little note. So I'll go ahead and open that up, and it has this really cute, if you can see, little bunny wax seal. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, see what it says. So it tells you um, about sharing, taking pictures, videos, and then it tells you about the charity of the month because every month they um, donate some proceeds from the box to a certain um, rescue and this month it is the Rabbit Haven which is in Scotts Valley, California. So it is a rabbit rescue. Um, and then it gives you box ingredients and then a message from the team. So. I'm not going to read that out because I don't want to be spoiled what's in it. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I see, they're called Simply Nibbles Tropical Fruit Cushions. So this is what they look like. So when I see what the ingredients are, they don't look super healthy, but... I think they'll be okay for a really occasional treat. Um, it says cereals, derivatives of vegetable origin, Timothy hay, fruits, vegetable protein extracts, and then some vitamins. So these aren't super healthy, but I think for a very occasional treat, I don't know if I'd give these to the guinea pigs, but these might be good for my pet surprise that's coming up this week, so I will do some more research on these and see what I think. Next thing I see that I'm really excited about is this cute hanging chew toy. It's really colorful. It's made out of this papery type um, material and then there's some wood and some chewable rope. This is um, a boredom breaker from Rosewood. So these are usually pretty good toys. Rosewood usually has pretty good toys. So just a little hanging toy. So that is nice. Then we have Boredom Breaker Kiwi Sticks. These are from Rosewood as well. And they're kind of just held together with a little vine. So here's what those look like. They are just Kiwi Sticks. So that's all they are. So they're just gnostics for small animals. So I don't know why these wouldn't be safe, but I'm going to double check that this type of fruit wood is safe um, for guinea pigs. So check those out. They will enjoy chewing on those if they can have those. Next we have the rosewood. These are also rosewood. Um, boredom breaker nibble sticks and they're shaped like carrots. There are those, and the pigs will definitely like these. They especially like these little, like, papery parts at the top. Those are their favorite parts of toys. 
One looks like a carrot, one looks like a piece of corn, and one looks like a lighter carrot maybe? But these will be good chew toys for sure. And then we have from Healthy Hopper, we have a flower bowl. It says a complimentary feed for all rodents and rabbits. And it looks really good and fresh and green, if you can see that. So I'll check out the ingredients. Yeah, this should be fine for the pigs. It's got palm leaf, dandelion leaf, raspberry leaf, nettle leaf, plantain, marigold, hibiscus, corn flowers, rose flowers, strawberry leaf, birch leaf, hazelnut leaf, and blue mallow. So all of those are pretty good, pretty natural ingredients that the pigs can have. Obviously for the pigs, I won't give them this whole thing at once because it's pretty big if you can tell, but this will be a good for a treat. We actually have another one of these that we got in a previous box that I think has a little bit different ingredients in it. So it'll be interesting to see which one of these the pigs like more. And then finally, the last thing in here is, this is from Healthy Hopper as well. These are peppermint leaves. So check that out. You can see it's just a forage mix. And then the ingredients are just peppermint leaves. So that'll be good for the pigs as well. Nice healthy foraging treat. So like I said, this box usually has pretty good treats. They're usually all natural or um, like their forages are really good. It's one of my favorite things about getting this box is that you can get these forages because I also have um, some dandelion that they really, really like. And that's pretty healthy for them as an occasional treat as well. So overall, I really enjoyed this month's box. I really like getting forage and that sort of thing for the pigs. And I really like the chew toy that came with that. It's gonna be really cute hanging in their cage. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below if you wanna talk about anything. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter at the Tiny Herd. We have a Twitter now. So you can go find us on there as well. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.